started at Callenwald, I believe I've been here around four years now. And as an assistant, we work six hours a week to work off our studio space and access to the glazes and um, yeah, just being a part of a great community. I believe it's a little over two years. Glenn Dare was the head of the program at the time. He asked me if I wanted to teach and I'm completely an introvert and was very scared, but since I've had that opportunity, it's really opened my mind to do different projects and I've learned a lot from the students and it's helped a lot with my confidence as well. So I teach on Friday nights. I teach a hand building class currently. I guess sculpting animals growing up with horses, they were a major part of my life. Um, I showed doing eventing almost every other weekend we had a show. And that really, I think, sculpted me as a person because with my horse, you, we had this communication. We never had to talk. It's all about your movement, your breath, they know all those, they, they feel all those things. As soon as I had any doubt about a jump, my horse would refuse it. So I think that's where this, this reflection of animals comes from. I feel more connected and more understanding of that, the way they move their ears, the way they process things and understand things versus the complexity of humans have a, a little more sympathy towards animals, which sounds horrible. But I think a, I think a lot of people do where, um, you know, if I can, I, I f can understand them better, where if I look at an image of a human, I feel a little more disconnect from it. With the rabbits, I feel, and it used to be horses more often, but with the rabbits, I feel, I'm able to capture that more emotion, like more um, emotions as far as feelings of, um, lately I've had a lot of chronic pain in my back and I think I see that reflected through some of my more recent work. I feel like it just allows me to express emotions and feelings that Sometimes I have a hard time putting into words and communicating with a viewer in ways that I, I um, wouldn't think of, I guess. It kind of opens my mind. With a lot of my animals, I look at reference images, but I don't sculpt realistically or um, classically at all. It, it's, it's more about the energy that I can capture with my... Um, just with movements of my hand. When I've noticed sometimes I'll work on a piece and not until after I really see the reflection of emotion. So not only connecting with other people, but understanding things about myself as well. And always trying to find that balance of just surviving, I guess, in the world and, and being happy.